to 70, these questions are based on syllogisms. Some jars are containers. These are the jars which are containers. And no container is a bottle. No container is a bottle can be represented like this. And all dishes are what? All the dishes are bottles. Isn't it? Then first conclusion, what is the conclusion here? No dish is a container as of now it is definitely true. All jars can never be. All jars can never be is what it is a possibility. Isn't it? Can stands for what? Can stands for possibility. Then in this one, no dish is a container. Now we should prove some dishes are containers to make this one false. That is the alternate diagram. Tell me whether we tell me whether we can draw this dish like this. If you draw this like this, then what happens here? The statement no container is a bottle will be false because along with this, this bottle will also come. Hence, no container is a bottle will be false. Hence, alternate diagram cannot be drawn. This will be true forever. Isn't it? Hence, first conclusion definitely follows. Then coming to the second one, all jars can never be bottles. How to write this one? All jars can never be bottles is nothing but all jars are bottles is not possible because this can stands for possibility never stands for not hence the same statement can be represented like this all jars are bottles is not at all possible isn't it now tell me whether all jars are bottles can be all jars are bottles is possible or not now to make this one to check out this one now our diagram should be like this bottle must be like this now tell me whether I can draw my bottle like this. If you draw a bottle like this, then what happens here? No bottle is, no bottle is, container will be false. Hence, it is not at all possible. Clear? All jars are bottles is not possible is true. Because to make this one false, it cannot be false at least once. Hence, it must be true forever. Then what is your answer here? Both the conclusions follow. That is choice four. Question number 66, choice 4. Then coming to 67, all rulers are kings. All these rulers are kings. All kings are soldiers. All rulers are kings. All kings are soldiers. Some soldiers are ministers. Some soldiers are ministers. First one, all soldiers are kings. That is false. And no minister is a ruler. That is definitely true. As a second conclusion, definitely true to make this one false. Now we should prove the alternate diagram. No minister is a ruler can be make it as false by proving some ministers are rulers. Alternate diagram proven, previous conclusion will be false. Isn't it? After making the previous conclusion, now we should check out the affirmative conclusion which was false earlier, whether it has become true or not. But as in this one, what happens here? All soldiers are kings. Now also it is false. And so neither one nor two. It is given in choice 5. Question number 67, choice 5. Then coming to 68, no sound is light. No sound is light, this is sound and this is light. No sound is light. And some lights are noises, some of the lights are noises. First one, all noises are lights, that is false. Some sounds are noises is a possibility. Some sounds are noises is possible or not? Now tell me whether we can draw my sound noise like this, isn't it? Hence, it is possible. And so only two second conclusions follow. Only second conclusion followed that is choice 3. 68 it is choice 3. Then coming to question number 69. All rulers are kings. All these ru rulers are kings. And all kings are soldiers. And some soldiers are ministers. Some of the soldiers are ministers. First conclusion, all ministers are kings is a possibility. Second one, all rulers are soldiers, that is definitely true. As all ministers are kings is a possibility, isn't it? No, sir, as all the statements are affirmative for possibility, we can write as a single diagram. Ruler equals to king equals to soldier equals to minister. And the first one is also possible. Then what is your answer here? Both the conclusions follow choice three. Then coming to question number 70, <coughs> no palace is hurt, now this is palace and this is hurt, no palace is hurt, 
नेक्स्ट वन ऑल हर्सर अपार्टमेंट्स ऑल हर्सर अपार्टमेंट्स ऑल अपार्टमेंट्स आर बंगलास ऑल अपार्टमेंट्स आर बंगलास देन फर्स्ट वन सम पैलेस आर अपार्टमेंट्स पैलेस इज शेयर अपार्टमेंट इज शेयर देर इज नो इंटरसेक्शन बिटवीन दीज टू दैट इज फॉल्स ऑल हर्स आर बंगलास डेफिनेटली ट्रू only second conclusion followed and the second conclusion is an affirmative conclusion that will be true forever choice for done with this now this is about question number 66 to 70 then 71 onwards 71 to 73 these three questions are based on blood relations m is the brother of j m is the brother of j can be represented like this j is the father of d J is the father of D, and D is married to K. D is married to K. D and K are married couple. L is the son of K. L is the son of K. S is married to L. As S is married to L, L is a male. S is a female. T has only two daughters, K and F. T has only two daughters, K and F. That means K is a daughter, K is a female. D is a male, isn't it? And T has only two daughters, K and F. Hence, T has only two daughters, K and F. This is T, and who is the other person? F. T has only two daughters, K and F. Why is the son of F? Why is the son of F? Next one. Why is the son of F? Q is married to Y. Q is married to whom? Q is married to Y. Q is a female. Done with this. These two persons are siblings to each other. Then. What is the question here? How is J related to L? Tell me how is J related to L? L's father is D. Father's father. Father's father. Grandfather. Grandfather. That is choice one. Question number seventy-one. Choice one. Then seventy-two. How is T related to D? Now T related to D. D's wife is K. Wife's parent. Hence, if this T is a male, father-in-law. Or if this T is a female, then mother-in-law. And the answer could be either father-in-law or mother-in-law. The gender is not known, hence cannot be determined. Then question number seventy-three: How is K related to Y? How is K related to Y? Y's mother is F, mother's sister, parents' sister that is aunt, aunt that is choice two. Question number seventy-three: It is choice two is the answer. <coughs> Done with this. Seventy-one to seventy-three, then seventy-four onwards. Now question number seventy-four onwards. These questions are based on inequalities. Now the relation between Z and Q. Z and Q. Now what is the element which is common between Z and Q? Z is here, T is here, Q and R. Z to T, isn't it? T to R. Now Z and Q. T and R. What is the relation between T and R here? T less than R. Between T and R, T less than R. Z less than T. Z less than T. T less than R. And R equals to Q. R equals to Q. Now with the help of this one, Z less than Q definitely true. Isn't it? Z less than Q definitely true. Then coming to the second conclusion, the relation between V and T. Now V and T. V is here. V to T. What is the relation here? Greater than, greater than or equal to. Hence, V greater than T. Definitely true. Both the conclusions follow. Choice three. Question number seventy-four. Choice three. Then seventy-five. The relation between I and R. Between I and R, one greater than, one lesser than. Two opposite symbols. No relation. Next one. Second conclusion. C and Q. Between C and Q. The relation between C and R. And greater than. This is lesser than. Q equals to R. Two opposite symbols, no relation. Hence, neither one nor two. Neither one nor two. Choice three. Question number seventy-five. Choice three is the answer. Then coming to seventy-six. Now in this seventy-six, the relation between R and O. Between R and O, R is here, isn't it? S is here, S to O. Between R and S, there is one lesser than, one greater than. Hence, no relation between these two. First conclusion does not follow. Then coming to the second one, what is the second one here? P and M. M is here, and P is here. The letter which is common between these two is S is common, isn't it? Now S less than M, and P greater than S. P greater than S, S less than M. Two opposite symbols, no relation. 
Hence, neither one nor two, that is choice four. 76 is choice four. Then coming to 77, the relation between M and K, lesser than, greater than, two opposite symbols, that is false. Then second one, P greater than M. Now, M is here and R is here, R equals to P. Again, now M lesser than R, R equals to P. That is, M lesser than P is true. P greater than M is definitely true. Then what is your answer here? Only conclusion 2 follows, that is choice 4, 77. Then coming to question number 78, the relation between E and T. Between E and T, 1 greater than, E greater than T, definitely true, first conclusion. Next one coming to the second, the relation between G and K. G is here, K is here, 1 greater than, 1 lesser than, 2 opposite symbols, that is false. And so only conclusion 1 follows, only conclusion 1, that is choice 4. <coughs> Clear? 78, it is choice 4. Then 79 onwards, question number 79 to 83. 79 to 83, these questions are based on coding and decoding, isn't it? Now, if you compare the first and the second statements, plan your diet chart, fruit diet is healthy. Now, diet is the word which is common between these two. As diet is common between these two, tell me what is the code which is common here? KH. And the code to the word diet is KH. Diet is KH. Then compare the first and the third. Plan your chart here, fresh and healthy fruit. There is no word which is common. And again, the first and the fourth. Plan your chart. And plan and chart are the two words which are common between the first and the fourth. As plan and chart are common between these two. Hence, the code for these two will be what? Plan and chart could be, what are the codes which are common here? BN and LI. LI and BN in any order. LI or BN in any order. Then what is left over here in the first one? Your is left over. And what is the code left over here? PA. And the code to the word your is PA. Done with this, your is PA. Then, compare the second and the third. Fruit is healthy, fruit and healthy. Fruit and healthy are the two words which are common between these two. Fruit and healthy are the words which are common. Fruit and healthy. Tell me, what is the code common between these two? Fruit and healthy, N-Y-S-T-A-M. Isn't it? A-M. ST. AM and ST are the codes common. AM and ST is common. AM or ST in any order. Then in the second one, what is left over here? Is. And what is the code to this word? Is NY. The code to the word is is NY. <coughs> is is NY. Then coming to fresh N. N is the word which is common between these two. As N is the word which is common, N. ZOREA, REA is common. Hence the code to the word and is REA. If and is REA, then what is left over here? Fresh. And the code to the word fresh is TX. Fresh is TX and make. And what is the code to the word make? And the code to the word make is ZO. And these are the words and their corresponding quotes. Clear now? Then coming to question number 79. What may be the possible code? May stands for what? May stands for possible code. Make your day. Now in this one, make your day, make the code to the word make is ZO and your is PA and the code to the word day. Now day is nowhere given in this one and the code to this word day must be any code other than the given codes. And ZO PA must be here. ZO PA is there and ZO and PA. ZO PA is there in choice 4. Hence your answer could be either choice 1 or choice 4. Out of which tell me whether choice 4 can be your answer or not. Can KH be the code for day? KH cannot be the code for day because KH is the code for diet. It cannot be the code for day. Hence choice 4 cannot be your answer. Then coming to choice 1. Tell me whether NE could be the code for day or not. NE. Because as NE is nowhere present in the codes, it could be the code for day, isn't it? And so what is your answer? The possible code for this one could be ZO NEPA. 79 choice one. Then coming to question number 80. What will be the code for fresh diet? Fresh is TX and diet is KH. 
टी एक्स एन के एच चॉइस थ्री एन क्वेश्चन नंबर एडी फर्स्ट एंड बी एन ट्रांसफर दिस बी एन ट्रांसफर एज अर प्लान आर शॉर्ट बी एन ट्रांसफर एज अर प्लान आर शॉर्ट चॉइस टू देन क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी टू वॉट इज अ कोड फॉर हेल्थी हेल्थी एस टेल मी वॉट इज अ कोड फॉर हेल्थी ए एम आर एस टी ए एम आर एस टी चॉइस थ्री ए एम आर एस टी चॉइस थ्री देन क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी थ्री वॉट इज अ कोड फॉर एज द कोड फॉर ईज इज एन वाई एन वाई चॉइस वन कोड फॉर ईज इज एन वाई चॉइस वन देन क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी फोर टू एटी एट नाउ इन दिस एटी फोर टू एटी एट क्यू आर एस टी यू वी डब्ल्यू एंड एक्स आर सीटेड अराउंड सर्कुलर एरिया इक्वल डिस्टेंस बिटवीन ईच अदर हाउ मनी पर्सन आर देर इन टोटल एट पर्सन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एट पर्सन आर सीटेड अराउंड दिस सर्कुलर टेबल सम ऑफ देम आर फेसिंग द सेंटर एंड सम ऑफ द पीपल आर आउट साइड सम इन वर्ड एंड सम आउट वर्ड एंड नेक्स्ट वन opposite directions mean that if one person is facing the center other person is away q sits a second to the right of r r faces the center as r is facing the center now i am fixing r at this place r is facing the center q sits a second to the right of r second to the right q sits second to the right of r as q sits a second to the right hand side of r this q must be here q sits a second to the right of r r faces the center only two people between Q and X. How many people between Q and X? There are exactly two people between Q and X. As two people between Q and X, X can be either here or X can be here. How many possibilities do we have to this X? Two possibilities. And T and S are immediate neighbors of X. If X is here, T and S are immediate neighbors of X is not possible because one of the neighbor is R, which implies that X cannot be here. Are you following this one or not? As X cannot be at this place. and so where should this x be x must be to the right hand side of this cube then this x must be at this place if x is here two persons and t and s are the immediate neighbors of x if t is here s will be here or if t is here s will be here how many possibilities do we have for this one two possibilities t and s are immediate neighbors of x u sits to the immediate left of s As u is to the immediate left of S, if S is here, u can be here, or if S is here, u here. How many possibilities? There are two possibilities to this u as well. And u sits to the immediate left of S, u is to the immediate left hand side of S. Next one, v sits to third to the left of T. As v is seated third to the left of T, if T is at this place, one, two, three, v can be here or here. Or if T is here, v can be here or here. There are again two possibilities to this u and v, and u sits to the to the left of u sits to the to the left of s. U is seated to the to the left of s. T and s are immediate neighbors of x. U sits to the immediate left of s. V sits to the to the left of t. V sits to the to the left of t. Immediate neighbors of v faces same direction. V's neighbors, V's neighbors facing the same direction. Next one, u and x face opposite. U and x, u x opposite. U and x face, u and q face opposite directions. U and q face opposite directions. W sits second to the right of x. As W seated second to the right of x, W can be either at this place or at this place. W is not an immediate neighbor of q. As W is not an immediate neighbor of q, W cannot be here. As W cannot be here. Then where should this W? W must be at this place. Now W is fixed, and W sits a second to the right of X. X must be towards the center. If W is here, then where should this U? U must be at this place. U is at this place. If U is here, earlier we have information. U sits to the immediate left of S. As U is to the immediate left of S, then S must be here. And T must be at this place. All the positions were fixed because of one information that W is adjacent to R. And and who will be at this place in between Q and U? S will be here. If S is here, S is here, and this will be T. And if S and T were there, then who is the person left over here? V is the person left over. 
done, then coming to the directions. U sits to the immediate left of S, as U is to the immediate left of S, S must be facing towards the center, U sits to the immediate left of S. V sits out to the left of T, as V is seated out to the left of T, T must be away from the center, then only V sits out to the left of T. Immediate neighbors of V faces the same direction, Q and R are facing the same direction, isn't it? Immediate neighbors of V faces the same direction. U and Q faces opposite direction, and Q is invert. U will be outward, U and Q opposite directions. W sits second to the right, W is not an immediate neighbor of Q. Immediate neighbors of T face same direction. T's neighbors X and W are facing the same direction. And W and V faces opposite. W and V, W is towards the center, V will be away from the center. Done with this? And this is how these eight persons were seated around this circular table. Some of them are inward and some of them are outward. Here, if you observe the difference between the earlier case and this one, and in the earlier cases, we used to draw a separate diagram, isn't it? But whereas here today, we have explained in the same diagram itself. Once you get practice to this one, you can directly go to a single diagram without drawing the second, okay? <coughs> and this is about question numbers 84 to 88. Done with this 84 to 88? Write down this diagram. <coughs> Question numbers 84 to 88. R is facing the center. V is also facing the center. T is away from the center. X is towards the center. S is towards the center. U is away. Q is inward. And V is outward. Done with this? Now this is about 88. 84 to 88. Then question number 89, now 89 and 90, these two questions are based on directions, isn't it? 89 and 90, directions. Now question number 89, A is 35 meters to the west of point B. Now B is here, A is 35 meters to the west of point B. C is 25 meters to the south of A. Now this C is 25 meters to the south of A. C is 25 meters to the south of A. D is 60 meters to the east of C. D is 60 meters to the east of C. D is 60. Now the total distance is 60. D is 60 meters to the east of C. D is exactly midway between E and F. D is in between E and F in such a manner that EDF forms a vertical straight line of 50 meters. And F is to the north of D. As F is to the north of D, E, D and F forms a vertical strike line. Now the total distance between these two is 50. Between E and F it is 50, out of which D is exactly midway. This is 25 and this is again 25. Isn't it? Then F is to the north of point. How far and in which direction is point F from point B? Tell me what is the distance between point F and point B? Now sir, this is the distance. Now the total distance between C and D is 60, out of which this is already 35, and so this must be the remaining 25, isn't it? Then F is towards which direction? F is 25 meters to the east, that is choice 4. F is 25 meters east of point B. Then question number 90. Now in this question number 90, a person started walking from his friend's place towards the market, isn't it? First, towards the market, towards the market, he walks for 30 meters towards south. Now, there, let us take this is A is his place, initial position. First, he travels 30 meters. 30 meters towards which direction? 30 meters towards south. Takes 90 degrees right turn and walks for 15 meters. 90 degrees, once again. Now let us take A at this place, from here 30 meters, then right hand side, right hand side 90 degrees, right hand side 90 degrees and walks for 15 meters. Now here the distance is 15, 15 meters. He again takes 90 degrees right and walks for another 50. From here right hand side and he takes another 50 meters. Now this is 50 meters. And he then walks for 30 meters after we taking. 90 degrees left. From here, 90 degrees left, 30 meters. 30 meters, 90 degrees left, 
left hand. Turning 90 degrees towards his left again, he walks for 20 meters. From here, left hand side and 20 meters, left hand side and 20 meters, 90 degrees. Turning 90 to his left again, he walks for 20 meters to reach the market. Now A is his friend's place and B is the market. B is the market and A is his friend's place. Then tell me what is the question here? How far and in which direction is the market from his friend's place? Now if you observe here, now the vertical distance. Now this is 40, 50 meters towards north. Now this is 20 towards south, 30 towards south. 50 north and 20 and 30 towards south. And 20 plus 30, these two are towards south. 50 north, 50 south. And so what is the distance here? Zero. 50 minus 50 and so it is zero. Then how far and in which direction is the market place from his friend's house? Vertical distance is zero. Now we need to find out the horizontal distance. Tell me what is this horizontal distance? Now in this horizontal distance, what is the horizontal distance here? Tell me here. Now this is the horizontal distance between these two. Now we need to find out this horizontal distance. Yes, tell me what is the horizontal distance? Now the horizontal distance is this is 15 and this is 30. Hence 15 plus 30 is so much. 15 plus 30 is 45. Now this is 45 meters towards which direction? 45 meters towards west. 45 towards west, that is choice 4. And this is about question numbers, question numbers 89 and 90. Then 91 onwards, now in this question number 91 onwards, 8 friends E, F, G, H, P, Q, R and S are seated in a straight line facing north but not necessarily in the same order. All the persons are facing towards north only, isn't it? And so how many people are there in total, tell me? In total we have only 8 persons. 8 persons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. 8 persons are seated in a straight line facing north but not necessarily in the same order. H sits 4 to the left of Q. Either H or Q sits at one of the extreme ends of the line. Either H or Q. Now in the first case, let us take H is towards north at the one end. And in the second case, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now Q is here. And H sits 4 through the left of Q, isn't it? Then what should be the position of Q here? 4 through the left. Hence Q must be here. 1, 2, 3, 4. And H sits 4 through the left of Q. And H must be at this place. There are two possible dates. H sits 4 through the left of Q. Either H or Q sits at one of the extreme ends of the line. And only two people between Q and G. Only two people between Q and G. G will be here. Only two people between Q and G. Now in the second case, and G must be at this place. This is the second possibility and this is the first possibility. Then, <coughs> only two people between Q and G. G does not sit at any of the extreme ends. G cannot be here. A G cannot be at this place, hence where should this G be tell me? G cannot be at this place, a G cannot be at this place, hence G must be at this place only. Then G does not sit and only two people between Q and G, E sits second to the right of S, whatever this E, E sits second to the right of S and S is not an immediate neighbor of Q, as S is not an immediate neighbor of Q, S cannot be here and S cannot be here in case 1. And tell me whether S can be here, S can be, cannot be here as well. If S is here, E and Q must be in the same place which is not possible. S cannot be here, cannot be here and cannot be here. There is no place left for this S at all. Hence case 1 is completely ruled out. Are you following or not? Then next one, in the second one, S is not an immediate neighbor of Q, S cannot be here. S cannot be here as well. S cannot be here because if S is here, Q and E must be in the place of G. S cannot be here because if S is here, E and H must be in the same place. Hence, S at this place and E at this place. E sits second to the right of S. S is not an immediate neighbor of Q. Done with this? Then R and F are immediate neighbors of each other. R and F are immediate. F is not an immediate neighbor of Q. F is not an immediate neighbor of Q. F is here. R and F are immediate neighbors, R is here. Then who is the person left over? P is the person, P is here. S, what is order? S, P, E, H, G, F, R, Q. 
is the order in which these eight positions were seated in a row. All these positions are facing towards north only. And this is about question numbers 91 to 95. <coughs> then after this 91 to 95, and the next one is 96 to 100. Now in this 96 to 100, A, B, C, D, M, N, and O live on seven different floors of a building, but not necessarily in the same order. Live on seven different floors of a building, but not necessarily in the same order, isn't it? But not necessarily in the same order. Then, what is the information given in this one? And seven floors, and these seven floors were like this, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, seven floors. Seven persons living on seven different floors, lives on seven different floors. A, B, C, D, M, N, O, and each one of them also likes a different mobile brand. Now, what is the other parameter here? One is the person and another one is the mobile they likes. Then condition number one, M lives on floor number four. Now, M is on floor number four. Then, what is the other information here? M lives on floor number four. M is on floor number four. Only two people live between M and O. As only two people live between M and O, then what is the possibility do we have? M and O, only two people, O can be here. That is one possibility. And what is the second possibility? Only two people between M and O, O can be here. This is the second possibility. Only two people between M and O. Only four people between, only four between O and the person who likes lava. Four in between O and the person who likes lava. O is here, one, two, three, four, lava must be here. The person who likes lava must be on floor number six. And four people, one, two, three, four, and the person who likes lava must be on floor number two. In possible two. Now this is case one and this is case two. And only four people between O and the one who likes lava. Next, C lives immediately above the one who likes lava. Whatever this C, C is immediately above the one who likes lava, C must be here and C lives immediately above the one who likes lava. The one who likes Sony lives on an even number floor. And whatever this Sony here, now the person who likes Sony must be either two, four, six, even number floor. The one who likes Sony lives on an even number floor, but not immediately above C. Immediately above C, M does not like Sony. Now in this one, in the first case, Sony, what are the possibilities? Sony cannot be on the sixth floor because lava is already there. And Sony cannot be on the fourth floor because M does not like Sony, that is clearly given. Hence, in the first case, this Sony cannot be on the sixth floor, cannot be on the fourth floor. Then what is the only thing left over here? Sony must be on the second floor. Is this clear? Now we have fixed this Sony as well. Then coming back to case two. Now in this case two, two, four, and six. And two cannot be Sony because lava is already there. And four cannot be because M does not like Sony. Hence, what is left over here? Now in the second case, the person who likes Sony must be on floor number six. Only three people live between A and the one who likes Sony. Between A and Sony, there must be exactly three people. In case one, one, two, three. Hence, A must be on floor number six likes lava. Only three between A and Sony. And Sony is on floor number six, one, two, three. A must be on the second floor. A likes lava. In both the cases, A likes lava. And the one who likes apples lives immediately below A. Apple is immediately below A. In case one, the person who likes apple must be on floor number five. And in case two, apple must be on floor number one. And the one who likes HDC lives immediately above the one who likes Intex. HDC is immediately above the one who likes Intex, HDC, and Intex. And this is only possibility wherein two vacant places, HDC and Intex. C does not like Intex. As C does not like Intex cannot be here. Hence, Intex must be here. If Intex is here, then HDC will be here. Done? C does not like Intex. Only one person lives between B and D. As only one person between B and D, B lives on one of the floors below D. As B lives on one of the floors below D, this is B and this must be D. 
this B and D must be on the alternate floors. But whereas in case 2, we cannot have two alternate vacant spaces and this case is completely ruled out. Second case is completely ruled out, now we are left with only the first one. O does not like Samsung and C likes Samsung. If C likes Samsung, then who is the person after here? A, B, C, D and M and O. M, O, N is the person. And whatever this one, Samsung, Lava, Apple, HDC, Intex, Sony and a Micropack. And the person who likes Micromax must be on floor number 1. <coughs> Done with this? Now this is about question numbers 96 to 100 of paper number 32. Yes, anything else in this paper? Number series questions please. First write down this arrangement then let us discuss about this 46 to 50 number series. <coughs> Question numbers 46 to 50. Question numbers 46 to 50 in number series. Shall I start with this one 46 to 50? <coughs> now question number 46. Now 3, 5, 13. Now 3, 5, 13. If you observe the choices. 550, 800, 600, 900, 700. Numbers are increasing at a very faster rate. Hence it must be either in product or combination. 3, 5, 13. 43, 177, then what should be the next one? Then tell me. It does not come under product because 3 and 5 cannot be related in the product. Hence, it must be under combination. Hence, in the case of combination, we should always try out at the highest number. 43 and 177, what is the relation here? 43 and 177, how to write this one? 43 into 4 is how much? 172, isn't it? 43 into 4, 86, 86, 172. 172 plus how much? Into 4 plus 5. Then coming to this one, 13 and 43. 13 into 3, 39 plus 4 is 43. And this is what the advantage we have by starting with the highest numbers. Then 5 and 13, 5 into 2, 10 plus 3 is 13. Next one, 3 into 1 plus 2. Now check out the numbers. Into 1, into 2, into 3, into 4, next one must be into 5. Then plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, next one is plus 6. 7 into 5 plus 6, the last digit must be 1. Among the digits, last digit 1 is given only in choice 2. 891, choice 2 is the answer. Question number 46. Then question number 47. 9, 4, 5, 6, 14. Then what should be the next one? And 6 and 14, how to write this one? 6 and 14. 6 into 2 plus 2, can we write like this? 6 into 2 is 12. 12 plus 2 is so much, 12 plus 2 is 14. Next one. And 4 and 1, 4 into 1 plus 1, into 1 plus 1, into 2 plus 2. Then whatever this one, 9 and 4, 9 and 4 number decreased ones. As the number decreased ones, it must be either into 0.5 or into 1. If you write it as 0.5, 9 into 0.5 is 4.5 minus 4.5. Into 0.5 minus 0.5 into 1 plus 1, next one must be how much? Into 1.5 minus 1.5, check out whether it is valid or not. 5 into 1.5 is 7.5 minus 1.5 is 6. And next one should be how much? 14 into 2.5 minus 2.5. 14 into 2.5, 35. 35 minus 2.5, 32.5. Now this 32.5 given in choice 3 into 0.5 minus 1.5 into 1 plus 1 into 1.5 minus 1.5 into 2 plus 2 into 2.5 minus 2.5 and this is about question number 47 then 48. Now question number 48 as tell me what is the logic here 48. Now here the numbers are in the decreasing order 152. 
152, 28, 16, and next one 10. Then what should be the next one? Yes, tell me what is the answer here. Now, if you go for the difference between these numbers, here the difference between 52 and 152, the difference is so much 48. And 52 and 28, here the difference is so much 24, 24. Next difference is how much? 28 and 16. 28 and 16, the difference is how much? 12. And next one is how much? 6. Now, what is the relation between 48 and 24? Divided by 2. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Isn't it? Next one, 6 divided by 2 is how much? 3. Hence, 3 must be subtracted. Isn't it? As 3 is subtracted, hence 3. Next one must be 3. These 3 must be added or subtracted. Minus, minus, minus and so on. 10 minus 3, it is 7, choice 1. Clear now? Or else, now see here. Again, 52 and 100, 52 into 2, 104 minus 4, 28 into 2, 56 minus 4, 52, 16 into 2, 32 minus 4, 28, 10 into 2, 20 minus 4, 16, and something into 2, minus 4 must be how much? 4, 10. That means, 7 into 2, 14, minus 4 is Yes, what is the number here? In the reverse order, it could be into 2 minus 4. In either way, you will get 7 as the answer choice 1. Then coming to question number 49, 500, 484. 500, 484, 500, 484 and 451, 384 and 266. As tell me what is the difference? 500 and 484, 16 and 451 and 484 and 3 and 23, isn't it? Now the difference between these two is so much 23. Done? 33. Now here the difference is so much 1 plus 3, 4, 5 plus 3 is 8. Next one, 451 and 384, 16 plus 51 is so much and 451, 500 and this one and minus 33, 451 and 384. Yes, tell me the difference between these two numbers. The difference between these two numbers is 67. 67. And what is the next difference here? 67. And check out the next difference. 17, 16, 33, 67. And this is 11. Check out difference in those 118. Isn't it? 118. Then what should be the next one? Yes, what is the relation between 16 and 33 into 2 plus 1? 33 into 2, 66 plus 1, 67. 67 into 2 is so much? 67 into 2. What is 67 into 2? 60 into 2 and 134 plus 1. Isn't it? Then, what is the difference between 16 and 33? 16 and 33, the difference between these two numbers is how much? 17. 17 is the difference. Next difference is 34. Next one is 51, multiples of 17. Next one must be 68. And 68 plus 118. As tell me how much will be here? 186. Now if you subtract 186 from this one, what is the answer here? 266 minus 186, the number is 80. 80 that is given in choice. Here the subtraction. Done with this? Now this is about question number 49. Then question number 50. Now in this 50, 1, 2, 12, 63 and 316, then what should be the next one? 60, 12 and 63. How to represent this one? 63 and 316? 63 into how much? 63 into how much? 63 into 5, that will be how much? 315 plus 1. And 12 into 5 plus 3, 2 into 5 plus 2. And 1 into 5, it is not there, isn't it? And into 5 is not working, then let us start with into 4. And then this will be into 3. 12 into 3, 36 and 63. 36 plus how much is 63? Plus 27. Here, 2 into 2, 4 plus 8. Are you getting any logic or not? Now, now this must be into 4, 
plus 64, 63 into 4, 126, 126, 232, plus 64. Are you getting the answer or not? Into 4 plus 64. And 63 into 4, 252 plus 64, 316. And see here it must be into 1 plus 1. Into 1 plus 1 cube, into 2 plus 2 cube, into 3 plus 3 cube, into 4 plus 4 cube. Next one into 5 plus 5 cube. What is into 5? 316 into 5 is so much. 31 into 316 into 5 will be 15. 80, 15, 80 plus 125, 80 plus 125, isn't it? And so what is the answer here? 1705 is the answer. 1705, 1705 and it is given choice 5. Done with this? Now this is about paper number 32, question numbers 46 to 50 and 66 to 100. Yes, tell me any doubts in this, in this paper apart from these questions? Done? Now this is about paper number 32. Next one. And the next one is what? Next one is 22. Next one is 22. 